Hi guys, Oatmeal here, back again for another video. So the other day my mommy asked me what I wanted to be when I get older, and that's easy. I'm gonna be a TikToker. Club video. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we're gonna look at the world's cheapest family. Let's get started. Mom, my God! Oh my goodness, looks like you had a good time. You smell good. We just. Alright, go find your dad. If I can get something for free, I'd rather do that any time than shoveling out a dollar. My family and I are so cheap that we all share one tub of water a day. We don't have cooties. We're never that dirty. It never that dirty? These people are bathing in their own feces. <laughs> you see how brown that water is? Listen, I've narrowed it down to two conclusions, right? Either one, that water is liquefied shit, or two, they're bathing in oil. I, I don't know which one's worse. What does it say about your family when your toilet water is cleaner than you are? <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm not getting something, but how do you kiss your son after he just finished taking a bath in his own filth? Can someone explain this to me? I'm Melody Rose, and I'm a hillbilly cheapskate. Hey, doggies. I can give a rat's ass about my family. If I can save me some money, I'll save me some money. What makes this video so sad is that these people, they're not broke. They have the money to afford a better life. They just choose not to. I mean, hey, honestly, more power to them, right? Sometimes I actually do want to take my own shower here and there. Can't really do much because my parents like to save water. The other day, I went to take my own shower and... <sighs> my mother beat me mercilessly. What am I supposed to do then, huh? We do have electricity. See? It's on. That's it. I'm not going to waste any more. I, we have electricity in this house. I don't use it. I use a lantern. I'm not going to run up no $100 electric bill. That, to me, sometimes makes me have a heart attack. Can this be considered child abuse? Because I think it's up there. Imagine having all the resources <laughs> you could ever want, but your parents won't let you use them. The most extreme thing I ever did to save on medical costs or any kind of costs like that is I removed my own teeth. If I have a cavity, I just take a little chisel and a hammer and I sit there and chip it and chip it and chip it until I can knock it out. Every once in a while, I've been known to take it and whack it really hard. You get knocked out for a minute, you come to and you finish. Wait a minute. So she provides her own dental insurance? Is that even a thing? So moving on from the world's cheapest hillbilly family, we're gonna look at the world's cheapest mom. I'm Jordan Page and I'm the ultimate cheapskate housewife. You wanna sit here? Okay, you can sit here. A typical family of five can spend up to $3,000 a month on household necessities. Hey guys, you ready to eat some breakfast? But Jordan, a 27 year old housewife in Utah, spends less than half of that. The juice, we water it down big time. One part juice to five parts. She only gave the kids a half a cup of apple juice and then filled the top with water. Listen, if I can't enjoy the full essence of apple juice, just give me the water instead, man. I, I, I refuse to do this. It's all about not wasting anything, and the way to do that is, we call it rationing. I'm gonna give you guys some cereal, okay? We're gonna give you 14, so tell me when to stop, ready? They're literally filming child abuse. How is this legal? I don't understand, how are these parents not thrown in jail? They're literally killing their children. You can't even add any milk because there's barely any Cheerios. What happened to be happy, be healthy? Look at how the little boy is looking up at his mother. He's thinking to himself, yo, I really wish I could kill this bitch right now. <laughs> this is what peak starvation looks like. Because I'm willing to pretty much do anything to save a buck. I was just wondering if you guys had any food that you're not using, like leftovers. Bro, the neighbor's face is just the embodiment of what the audience is like feeling. Jordan's been trying to find out even more ways of being a cheapskate at home. So one of the ways that she tried was dashboard cookies. Dashboard cookies? 
This I gotta see. A neighbor of mine, she gave us some cookie dough <laughs> that was about to expire. I bake cookies without using any power, and it doesn't make your house hot. With the car temperature at 160 degrees, she's finished baking for free in two hours. Who on planet Earth thinks of this stuff? Will those cookies even taste good? I bet she's so cheap, whenever her kids are hungry, she lets them inhale the air. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.